With frequencies 1 and 2 channel, you can train in nearly any frequency or combination of frequencies, increasing or decreasing. They can be used for percent training by inhibiting 2 to 38 hertz and rewarding the desired frequency, and also for squish, squash, or windowed squash. Your training plan or brain-based assessment will guide to which frequencies to train. There's a good chance BioExplorer will open your design with captions not showing. If so, uncheck Show Captions and recheck it. Before starting, select the bands to train and select whether to inhibit or reward. Bands trained will be shown on the top trend graph. To monitor bands that are not being trained, press the Not Graphed button at the bottom to say Graphed. These frequencies will be shown on the lower trend graph. Inhibit thresholds are automatic for the first 30 seconds, at which time they switch to manual. If the trainer has changed any increase buttons from their default to decrease, they should be set to manual at this time by pressing the auto button underneath the threshold bar. As the session progresses, you can select additional bands to train based on your observations of the signals. At the left is channel 1, at right is channel 2. The first column of buttons is for a low inhibit band. The second column is for a high inhibit band. Their amplitudes are summed and trained through the wide threshold. The third column is for a reward band trained through the smaller threshold. For a squash, select the squash button. For a squish, select the band on each side that you want to inhibit. For a windowed squash, Select upper and lower bands to inhibit that leave out the window frequencies you will not train. After 30 seconds, the decreased targets will automatically set to manual mode. The top trend graph shows low inhibits that are being trained. The middle graph shows high inhibits trained. The lower graph shows reward frequencies being trained. Frequencies can be changed during the session. Some difference is used when there is a high amplitude in both channels and a large difference in amplitude between channels. At the left, select a frequency band where amplitudes are high in both channels to be summed and trained down. At the right, select a band where there is a large difference between channels to reduce the difference. These can be the same or different bands based on the EEG. The thresholds switch to manual after 30 seconds. The trend graph at the top shows both the sum and difference amplitude. Frequencies can be changed during the session.